Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll show you how to change the BCM or the body control module on the Volkswagen Polo. Since I don't have my Polo with me anymore, I requested if Praveen could show how this is done on his Polo and he gladly obliged. Praveen is a good friend of mine, belongs to Bangalore, is an avid biker and loves working on VAC cars. Should you wish to do any retrofits on your Volkswagen, do get in touch with him. So you'll have to change the BCM in your Polo if your car belongs to one of the earlier batches of the Polo or the entry level variant such as the trendline variant that comes without many bells and whistles and you wish to add some new features such as cruise control like I did or automatic headlights with coming home and leaving home features and so forth. Take a look at this image which shows the features offered across the BCMs entry level to medium and high. The image is in German so if you do a Google translate of this image here's what you get. While the basic BCM offers most features if you need automatic rain sensing or seat heating or heating for the windshield, external mirrors, etc. You are going to need a medium grade BCM. And if you need cruise control or static cornering lights, you will need the top end BCM. I had changed the BCM on my Polo to enable cruise control. Let me take you through the step by step procedure on how to change the unit and adapt it. Connect the cable to the OBD port. Turn the key to accessories. You don't have to start the engine. Open the VCDS application on the laptop. Select control module. Then head to 9 central electronics and note down the long coding in a notepad. Take snapshots of the long code and the individual bytes. There are a total of 29 bytes so don't forget to take a screenshot of each one of them. This way when you are adapting the new BCM to your Polo, you will know which options were individually enabled and disabled. It makes your life a whole lot simpler. Once you have taken the backup of the long coding, head to 19 CAN gateway module, coding 07. Take a screenshot of the long code. Then head to the installation list and take screenshots of the options that are enabled. What you see here are from my Polo GT diesel. Don't take these as a reference. It may vary from your car. You will have to enable these settings in your new BCM. Now pop up the engine hood and use a 10 mm spanner to undo the negative terminal of the battery. As always, it's a good idea to disconnect the battery while working on electricals on the car. Now the BCM is located behind the steering wheel under the dashboard so you are going to have to pull the seat all the way back, bend your body and lay down on the footwell with your head up to see where the BCM is. I had to do a special asana not mentioned in any of the ancient Vedic texts. So this black box with the large white and black connectors you see here is the BCM. Now you have to undo these connectors first and to do so you have to press a small tab at the bottom of the connector as shown here. Press it and you can pivot the locking latch and as you pivot the latch the connector comes off the BCM. Repeat the process for the second connector as well. Once that's done there are two tabs at the bottom onto which the BCM is held. Just pull the tab down and the BCM unclips itself from the slots. You really don't need any tools for this. So once the stock BCM is out you can install the new one back. Installation is carried out in the reverse order of the steps of removal. Check the orientation of the unit. The holes on the BCM should face the bottom. Just guide the unit into the slot and it will attach itself firmly in place. After the BCM is secured back in its place, connect the black and white connectors into the slot and pivot the latches so they lock the connectors to the BCM. And once you have done that, you are good to go. Now we need to adapt the new BCM to the car. Connect the VCDS cable to the laptop. The first thing you have to do if this is a new BCM is to disable the factory mode. Go to 9 central electronics and then to adaptation 10. In the drop down menu select factory mode. If the stored value indicates 1, enter the new value as 0. Click on test, save and done. Go back. If the stored value indicates 0, proceed to the next step because it indicates that the factory mode is turned off. Next, go to 19 CAN gateway module coding 07 and copy paste the long coding from the notepad file in the blank new coding field. Click on installation list, refer to the screenshots that were taken and select only those options that were selected in the installation list from the previous BCM that is your stock BCM scan gateway. Unselect those that were not selected in the stock BCM. Once you have selected and unselected the relevant options, select save coding from the top right and come back to the main menu. Next. Go to 9 central electronics module coding 07 
and copy paste the long coding from the notepad file in the blank new coding field. Once you have done that, click on do it and it will pop up a window indicating coding accepted. Click on OK. The new BCM has now been configured as per the stock BCM. Next, the penultimate step, adapting your car's keys to the new BCM. A new BCM requires the key fob to be registered with it. Go to 9 Central Electronics module, Adaptation and select Remote Control Adaptation. Under channel 01, the stored value field would read as 0 by default. In the new field, enter 1 if your car has 1 key fob, 2 if there are 2 key fobs. Press test and then press the unlock button on the key fobs. You have 15 seconds to complete this step, so take care of this aspect. If the key fob has been registered, you will get an acknowledgement as the indicators in the car would flash. If it did not work, repeat the steps above and it would. We got this in one shot. Once the key fob is adapted with the new BCM, check the locking and unlocking of the car. If you have reached here, congratulations. You have installed a new BCM in your Polo, which can enable a whole lot of new features than the stock BCM. Pat yourselves in the back. Finally, do an auto scan through VCDS and clear any errors. There are bound to be a few. I had a couple of errors. Activation of parking lights, as you can see here. That's because the new BCM was directly driving the parking lights on the headlights and not through the fused 12 volt supply as it did before. I did not bother correcting it as it did not interfere with the day to day working. Oh, and these were the Morimoto Xenon projectors that I had installed on the stock headlights. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this clip, don't forget to give it a like and a sub. I'd really appreciate it. See you in the next video. Take care.